Hey everybody, Paul from Cary State Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. Continuing on the theme of estate administration, today I wanna to talk about release and refunding agreements. So this is generally not something that's required uh, in order to shut down the estate, but it's good practice for a personal representative to make sure that you're limiting your own personal liability. And it's what's called a uh, release and refunding agreement. So in tandem with, and this is usually gonna incorporate the receipt um, as an attachment or incorporate it by reference, uh, the release or funding agreement is basically saying that the beneficiary releases any claims against the estate that they may have for any uh, proceeds or, or assets from the estate and then agree to refund uh, any assets that they've received for, as distributions in the event that a claim comes out uh, or an unknown claim comes up that needs to be satisfied with assets that have already been distributed. So this is just good practice for personal representatives to uh, carry out to protect their own interests and to make sure that they're not gonna be personally liable for any debts uh, that don't get paid in due course. This is Paul from Cary State Planning.